guys, it's Jessie V and happy December 1st. As you can see, I have a new backdrop behind me. I know this isn't like a traditionally Christmassy backdrop. We're keeping it creepy with the Stranger Things theme, but we're also keeping it Christmassy with the Christmas lights behind me. I think it's the perfect mix to be honest. And I love Stranger Things. So as you guys know, whenever we have a new backdrop, that means I announced the winner of last month's backdrop. To enter to win, you had to go and subscribe to Moot's channel. He's still posting there, by the way. And I'm gonna give out the winner's Instagram because that's where I message them. The Instagram is mindless underscore ghost. So congratulations and thank you to everyone who went over and supported the Moot channel. Now, if you guys wanna win this Stranger Things backdrop behind me, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, so my Jesse V channel, turn on a notification bell, and then head over to my regular Jesse V Instagram and give it a follow. And all you have to do is be active on there. If I see your name popping up a lot, commenting, liking things, viewing my stories. I will choose you to win this Stranger Things backdrop. So as you may have guessed, for the rest of December, we're gonna be doing Christmas themed videos with creepy twists. So today's theme is creepy vintage toys that they actually used to sell back in the day and it scared children. And speaking of toys, before I get into this video, I just wanna show you some two new plushies that we just put on the website. They are both our jumbo sized plushies. These are Yetis, which are essentially snow monsters. This guy has giant feet and he's so fluffy. And this guy's even bigger, oh my goodness. And they are both available right now on the website. I think there's 40 left of each and they're gonna be on my bed all winter. You guys know how much I like plushies. I collect them. All right, so let's get right into these creepy vintage Christmas toys. First, we have this guy. So this little elf statue here was made to look like he was making a little doll in Santa's workshop. So that's why he's holding a doll in his hand. But what's in his other hand? What is he holding in his other hand? I think the intention was good, but the statue ended up being a lot more scarier than what they anticipated. It kind of looks like he's holding the doll hostage here. Like maybe instead of them having him hold a knife, they could have given him like a needle and thread or a paintbrush or something. Because if my mom put this in her house as her Christmas decor when I was younger, I probably would have cried. Mom, what is the elf doing to the doll? All right, then we have this next toy. This is a reindeer toy with a doll head and a Santa hat on top. Quite a strange combination here. Now, I'm actually not sure if this was someone's like DIY experiment they were doing or if this was actually sold in stores. Either way, it's weird. And I don't know about you guys, but this looks like a toy that Sid from Toy Story would create, you know? Next, we have this Santa Roly Poly doll. And I don't know why, but back in the 1940s, people were crazy about Roly Poly Santas. Like during that decade, that was the only thing you wanted to buy for your kid. Imagine being like, Mom, all I want for Christmas is a big bellied Santa that will roll on the floor. That's all I want. And then your mom is like, but what about your front teeth? Don't you want those? Roly poly Santa. What's pretty interesting though, is that the roly poly toy is considered one of the oldest toys in history. And they don't just come in Santa form. Some look like clowns, some look like animals or children. Like these toys have a history, you know what I mean? Okay, so this one is probably one of the creepiest ones on this list. This is a battery operated Santa Claus from the 1960s. And I'm pretty sure it's like a piggy bank so you can put coins in the house that Santa's sitting on. I just have one question here. Why did they decide to make the eyes glow of all things? The amount of reviews I found online of adults who said they had nightmares about this toy as kids is ridiculous. This one poor girl said that back in the 70s, her mother would put this on top of the fireplace. And one day when she was home alone reading a book on the couch, the toy started to make this really strange and loud buzzing noise and the eyes started flickering. It seemed like it was starting to malfunction with without anybody touching it and smoke started coming out of the eyes. He even started to aggressively ring the bell in his hand. She said it was like the scariest thing she had ever seen. And if you see a close up of the Santa's eyes with the lights turned off or removed, it kind of looks like a Coraline doll or something. Is it just me? I feel like I kind of see that. Okay, next we have the Christmas version of black eyed children. These two elf dolls have completely black eyes, no pupils in sight. These dolls were made back in the 1950s and they actually have flower picks attached to them so you can put them in your plant pots. I'm not sure why someone would want to just display these in their home. They look like they're about to steal my soul. Okay, this next one is a lawn ornament. I can't even believe this was real and that this was actually sold in stores. So this creepy Santa 
head is from the 1940s and actually if you go online people are selling these for $700 now because apparently it's a rare find. Who's gonna buy this creepy face for $700? What I don't understand is why they made Santa's eyeballs like pop out of his face. Do they glow too? If I saw this outside someone's house for Christmas, I would assume they were trying to like scare off the carolers or something. All right, next we have a toy from Germany. This is literally called the snowman eater. What? He's basically a snowman who is like hunched over with his mouth wide open and you're supposed to crank him up and he leans down and like eats the snowballs. I think this would just ruin Christmas for me and like snow in general. This is like up there on the list with the glowing eye Santa. The next toy is called Reading Santa Claus and it was a popular Christmas toy in the 1970s. So you would basically wind him up and he would start nodding his head and reading the book. He's even able to turn the pages which is kind of creepy and apparently all the pages of the book has like um, pictures of different animals and stuff and a few years later they actually made a battery operated version of this toy just so people wouldn't have to crank it. I'm just glad they didn't make the Santa like read the book out loud. That would have been even scarier. Okay and lastly I also found this during my search. I have no idea what it is or where it is. It almost looks like it's standing in a store window or something but I just know it's gonna be in my dreams tonight. Why would they make Santa's teeth like that? If they're trying to entice people to come into the store this isn't working. This is not working at all. Anyways though guys those are all of the creepy Christmas toys I'm gonna be talking about today. If I missed any really good ones definitely comment them down below but there's just something about vintage toys that have an eerie vibe to it even if they weren't made to like be creepy sometimes they just are and you can't help it. I just think it would be so cool to do a video on this for each special occasion like creepy Easter toys, creepy Valentine's Day toys etc etc. Anyways though guys don't forget if you would like a new fluffy yeti I have linked that down below and don't forget to go and follow my Instagram Jesse V to be entered to win this Stranger Things backdrop behind me but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next one. Bye!